Of course, it's the time of year when you're digging in the garden, walking in the woods. All of a sudden, you spot something slithering nearby. Even if you <laughs> like snakes, it gives you the heebie-jeebies, yeah, right? Can, yeah. Sure. Well, some folks are noticing a spike in snake sightings. And in a minute, we'll explain how you can figure out what snakes are venomous in the upstate and how to identify them. But first, why you may be seeing more than usual. Be honest, if you saw this wiggling mass, would you get close enough to record it? It's just a thrill for me. Chuck Thorne did, the friend people call when they have a snake sighting. If they find a snake in their backyard, I get a call and say, hey, I need you to get this out of here. And we'll take it, bring it back to our house, let it go in our woods. No big deal. Word of cotton mouth brought us together on social media. Thorne called on by friends to identify this visitor to my own backyard this week. Thorne says it's no water moccasin, but a non venomous northern water snake. Generally, I'm right. I've been off on a couple. But the post showed I'm certainly not the only upstate homeowner who's noticed an early onset of snakes. Unlocking why, Wofford biologist Dr. John Moeller says the answer could be the warmer winter. If their body temperature is rising at a faster rate and getting up to a higher level earlier, that may speed up some of the processes of gestation and they may be giving birth at an earlier time. Do you think snakes have a bad rap? Oh yeah, yeah, they have a terrible rap. Thorne, you know, quick to know, point out, non-venomous snakes uh, help keep the rodent population down. Some even kill the most common lethal snake in the upstate, copperheads. There are 38 species of snakes in South Carolina. Most of them are much more of a flight risk than a bite risk. That's not to say non-venomous snakes don't bite if provoked. I would not grab a wild snake like this and just start treating it as though it's your pet snake. Maybe they'll pick one up one day. I don't know. We'll see. Thorne admits he's been nipped a few times, but he says the biggest sting is people who kill without knowing the difference. And that's the thing, it is really important to know what you're looking at sure. there. As far as identifying the type of snake, anything with a rattle is venomous. Those types usually in the mountains yeah. more in our area. And a snake may be venomous if it has a diamond-shaped head and also an hourglass design. Yeah, you got to be careful. This is that time of year when we are out there oh, kind yeah. of digging around the garden, mm -hmm. the yards, the leaves. I know you're yeah. always out there. Yeah, and I'm yeah. keeping my eyes open now. Sure. I promise you I will. And we have a gallery of photos on our website that lists the snakes found in our area. You can use that to identify what you see. And there's also advice on what to do if you get bitten. Just look for this story under links we mentioned.